Suzanne, mm. where are we going to put these people? The uncomfortable truth, as far as I can see it, is that we are going to have tent cities of asylum seekers popping up around the UK. Well, I think you summed it up beautifully, Patrick, just the huge pressure that we're seeing now on accommodation, and that does seem to be the only answer. But I'm actually a little bit more worried than that because I think this is all getting very sinister now. We know that we've had people who have been told that their properties are going to be compulsory purchased for asylum seekers. That pretty much tears up private property rights in this country. Um, I was listening to the radio on the way here and they were talking about a massive problem facing Britain, which was older people living in houses that were, quote, too big for them. Who's got a right to tell you your house is too big for you? You should be allowed to live where you darn well like. And the implication was very clear. These elderly people are taking houses that they shouldn't have. And I feel that's a worry, that there'll be some kind of move to get them out of those houses. Um, we've also had the horrible scenario last week when Matthew Paris, writing in The Times, talked about how euthanasia wouldn't be a bad thing if it encouraged elderly people to hasten their own deaths. So what? We've got to pop our clogs, have we, forcibly, when we're mm. 60, 70, 80, 90, perhaps earlier, if we're not productive people mm. in society, as Matthew Parris said it. So I, I think the whole thing now is getting really, really sinister and scary. Okay.